All right, guys, so today we're going to work on the host stack. The host stack, much like the vert stack, is designed to open up space and open up passing lanes. Okay? The difference is with the host stack, it's an athlete's game. So each one of us, us four on offense, the dark colors, we are all in an isolation play with our defender. The reason for this is because we're spread horizontally across the field. So, if I cut deep, Orhan has no help to, to cover me deep. And if I cut under, he has no help under. In a bird stack, you have people in the stack, the defenders, that can come off and they can pick up players. However, in the host stack, it is just me and him, okay? So this is a very good opportunity for someone who never stops running and who is very fast, okay? So in this situation, we're being forced flick, so Olhun is gonna be on this side of me, okay? Now, what I wanna do as a cutter, and same with my other three cutters, is we wanna more or less stay in our passing lanes, okay? What that means is I have all the room right in front of me and to the disc a little bit, and I have all the room directly behind me, okay? If he starts cutting into my lane, so come over here, now he's taken away my ability to cut under. So now, Olhun can play behind me. And so it puts me at a disadvantage if we cross between lanes, okay? All right, so you guys can go back. All right, so what we want to do, like I said, is stay in our lanes, but we also want to be cutting together, okay? So, let's say we both cut it at the same time. Now we have hardly any space in here, and there are two defenders. So what we don't want to do when we're playing man, when the defense is playing man, is we don't want to cut at the exact same time to the same spot. Okay? Same if we go deep. If we both go deep, we have two defenders with us now. Much less likely that we're going to catch that deep puck. So what we want to try to do is work off of one another. While I cut in, he cuts deep. While he cuts under, I go deep. Okay? And we're going to work like pistons, going back and forth. Okay? And the difference in this is that we don't have to do the same length of cuts every time. <coughs> maybe when I cut up this time, I cut up two or three steps, and then I turn around and I go deep. And maybe I go 10 steps in the back. I don't get the disc, so I cut under. And now I'm gonna cut five steps in, I'm gonna get right up in here, okay? And the key to this is by changing it up, my defender never knows when I'm gonna turn, okay? If I do the same thing, I cut five steps in, stop, turn, Five steps back, stop, turn. He gets used to where I, and when I'm gonna cut. And because of that, he can play good defense. So what I wanna do as a cutter, whenever I'm in an isolation role, like in the host stack, is I wanna be unpredictable, okay? Now, what I also wanna do, like we've talked about in creating space, is I wanna open up the area for me to get the disc. So, if I cut under, what I want to maybe try to do, especially in this position, is I want to maybe cut towards him this way and then open up this space, okay, to make it an easier throw for Kobe, okay? When I go deep, maybe I want to drag him to this side a little bit and then cut for all this space down here, okay? But the key is, I want to open up space. Now, another really beneficial thing from the host stack is that we have two other cutters on the wings who can set up their deep cuts, okay? So in this situation, let's say when I cut under, I get the disc, and then Shawlock sees that he goes deep. So hold on. Okay. Yeah, you, you would be. Um, but let's say I okay. catch it on the inside. I can turn, I have this great throw to Shawlock deep, okay? And with the host stack, there's no vert stack that I have to worry about. There's not that last guy deep that can cut off my throw, okay? So the wings and the mids, or the poppers, these two in the middle, have very different roles in this offense, okay? In the vert stack, you wait until it's your turn and you cut. It's very simple, everyone's doing the same thing. In the host stack, we have to time and we have to think about when we're cutting. So the two of us in the middle, we're running like crazy. We're going in and out trying to get this disc. The wings, they're playing smart, okay? They're waiting until we are about to catch the disc, or they're waiting until their defender isn't paying attention. So, 
if Cholak sees me coming in and I'm about to give his throw to the break side, what he wants to do is start cutting under at the same time. As he's doing that, he's drawing his defender underneath. And now when I catch it, that's when he turns and he books it deep. And that's when we have the tough. Okay? So when you're on the wing, I want you to think about creating that space and cutting with us. Okay? The other thing you can also do, and this is good for the mids, is you can cut deep and then cut under. So let's say I see him cut, let's say you would cut deep, John Paul, and you would cut back under, you're wide open. No, John, let me get wide open. Okay? So if I see this, I know he's gonna get this under. So what I can do is I can cut deep, drop really hard, draw my defender deep, and then as he catches it, I can cut back under for this throw. And I can get a big 20 meter gain because I'm playing the field and I'm playing my defender well. Okay? Does that make sense? Right. So one other thing I want to bring up, now that we've ran through it a few times, I know that I said we want to stay in our lanes, and that is for the most part true. However, there are certain circumstances where maybe we don't have to. And I'm going to explain that right now. Let's say me, on this break side, I cut deep and drag my defender with me. And let's say I beat him so bad under that I am completely poached this event. I'm completely poached. Now, put your mark on him. Hey, can they see the mark? No. Now, because it's a flick force, this is still a difficult throw for him to make. So because I'm so poached, I can come out of my lane and come into this passing lane and give him an easy throw. Okay? And then now that I've got this, I can well, turn and continue with our offense. That's a really easy break right there. Okay? So that is one situation where we can come out of our passing lane and we are wide open. Okay? Same thing with on a wing. Let's say their defender isn't paying attention. Or let's say, let's say that I cut under and Ogazan cuts and tries to guard me. Now, if Ardal recognizes he's wide open, so he can go get poached deep. Okay? And he can cross lanes to get open. Because now he has nobody guarding him. Okay? So if you get in that situation, we don't necessarily have to stay in our passing lanes. But if we stay in those lanes, it's going to create more openings for the rest of our teammates. 